Hi, I'm Leslie Palazzotto, co-founder and owner of The Donut Project here in the West Village. Every weekend we create a weekend special that's only available for three days. We love working with restaurants, especially here in the West Village, and today I'm walking over to meet with the chefs at Lartusi to discuss which dish we're going to create a donut. Come on in with me to see what we come up with. So I'm super excited to be here at Lartusi because I love coming to this restaurant. I've been here many, many times and I can't wait to pick a dish to create a donut around. So I'm so excited to be here, Janae. You've been Thank in my shop many me. times. Yes. I've been here many times and I'm so glad that we can work together. Um, I've looked at the menu. Everything is obviously amazing. Um, but I have to take into consideration what makes sense to turn into mm -hmm. a donut. There was a couple um, items that I thought would work really well. The olive oil cake and your lemon, lemon ricotta pancakes. Um, did you have a, an idea on either one that you wanted to go with? I think they're both great options. The olive oil cake obviously is our number one dessert yes. seller. Um, and then the lemon ricotta pancakes are so delicious for brunch. Yes. Um, but I think the lemon ricotta pancakes would be more fun to you. You know, I, I think so too because I think we could you know really maybe even work in a pancake on top of the donut as a topper and I think people would really love that I think so too yeah. I think that would be so fun so I'm excited to see how you make them so that I can kind of gather ideas on what component we're gonna use okay. um, what ingredient will make a filling or a topping or a, a glaze and mm -hmm. so I, I would love to see how the dish is put together yeah let's do it all right <laughs> So I'm here with Janae, she's the executive pastry chef here at Lartusi, which has been in operation for 14 years, so obviously you guys are doing something right. Yeah. I'm sure it has a lot to do with your desserts. Yes, especially <laughs> the olive oil cake. So the olive oil cake is a huge hit, but I also know the brunch menu, your lemon ricotta pancakes are also a yes. huge hit. Um, we use lemon and ricotta in our donuts all the time, and that's why I thought it would be a perfect fit for us to create a donut inspired by. So I heard that you create your own ricotta, so I think that's amazing, and I'm really excited to see how you put this dish together. So we start off with a fresh house-made ricotta. We have some uh, melted butter, some honey. We have some lemon juice, lemon zest, eggs and vanilla, and we have whole milk. So we mix that until it's homogenous. But it's okay to have a little bit of lumps of the ricotta because you want those ricotta pieces to be inside the batter. Gotcha. And then we'll add our flour, baking soda, and salt. So I've tasted these before and they're absolutely delicious. I yes. do love the kind of lumps of ricotta you mm -hmm. get. You really know that you're eating lemon ricotta pancakes because you, you get that little bite of ricotta and it's just amazing. Yeah. So now that we've made the pancakes, um, we're gonna finish plating them. They get covered in powdered sugar. Love it. And topped with the house-made ricotta. Gorgeous. <laughs> that is good looking, I'm telling you. Right on top. Wow, that is gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. So what we're going to do is we're going to take all of these components and, tr and turn them into a donut. Obviously, the pancake portion would typically be our donut, but we might even put pancakes on the donut. I think that would be so interesting. Yeah, I think it'd be fun. Um, well, obviously, we uh, use ricotta and lemon, but I'm, I'm super excited to use your ricotta mm -hmm. and taste the difference because I bet it's made with love. So creamy, so fresh. Yeah, mm -hmm. it looks great. So I'm going to take some back and we're going to start testing and I'll let you see what we come up with and you'll be the first to taste. Amazing. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. It was so good to spend time with you. Yes, thank you for coming in today. And thank you for showing us how you make your wonderful no lemon ricotta pancakes. <laughs>
So I've got the delicious house-made ricotta. I'm gonna take this back to my team and we're gonna start testing. And that's the fun part. Okay. So it's the next day and fun fact, Wednesdays are when we do our testing for our weekend specials. I've briefed the team on my meeting with Janae and Vanessa's gonna take the lead on preparing the donut, modify, um, that's not what I wanna say. Vanessa's gonna take the lead on this project, so she's gonna show you how we're gonna to put together this donut inspired by the lemon ricotta pancake dish. So we start our days pretty early here, uh, anywhere between five and 5.30. So we come in and immediately we get started on dough. We have our flour pre-measured out. We dump whatever amount we need into our bowl over here. Uh, we add eggs and water and sugar, pretty classic things that you have for a yeast donut, and we get to mixing. That takes about 20 to 30 minutes to do. We ball everything up and we place them in our little proofing buckets where they're going to proof for approximately 30 minutes or so before we roll out the dough and cut them into whatever shapes we need. We make round donuts, we make no holes, we make cinnamon rolls, we make bars. We're getting really creative with whatever shapes and products we're making so far. So after they're done, being cut, we pop them here in our proofer, where they're gonna proof for approximately another 30 minutes. You see how much time this takes? You do need to get in early. Once they're done proofing, we bring them over here to our frying section. We put them on these racks and we drop them into the oil. Just to demonstrate, here we are. They pop in here. Everything has sort of a different frying time which we all have memorized at this point. And once they're done being fried, we just pick this right back up and take it right back out of the fryer. All the donuts that we fry here, we transfer to cooling racks. We place them over here where you'll see some of our finished products. These are some of our round donuts. And once they're placed over here, we give them time to cool and then we glaze several flavors for each day. Vanessa. I am one of the pastry chefs here at the Donut Project and today we are making our lemon ricotta pancake donut uh, for Lartusi. So what I've got here is I've got some butter for cooking our pancakes. Here I have our lemon ricotta pancake mix. Um, here are the donuts that we'll be working with today. This is a no hole. We've got our glaze which is a maple glaze. We've got our filling here and we have our uh, topper as well as some lemons here that we will be zesting on top. So let's get started just by cooking our pancakes. We're going to turn on our burner here and we're going to add, I'm just going to add a little smidge of butter. We're going to let that get nice and melted down here so our pancakes don't stick to the bottom of the pan. I like swirling around the butter a bit as it's melting for a nice even coat. Um, and I say there's no such thing as too much butter. The butter also adds a really nice flavor, I think, um, to the entire dish. This has a very like light and delicate sort of taste to it. Um, just beautifully balanced, quite frankly, and the butter just helps bring out the liveliness of it. So our, bubble, our butter is ready now. The pot is hot enough, so I'm just gonna start Pouring in some pancakes. Oh, lovely. That's one little pancake. Can we go two out of three? Let's find out. Yes, we can. And the real test of endurance is can we go three out of three? We can. Amazing. Lartusi has given us their own house-made ricotta, which is the main ingredient that we are going to be using in this donut. So their house-made ricotta, you're gonna find in the filling, in the topping, as well as in the pancake itself. So this donut, which is our yeast raised donut, is going to be a thumbprint. So what that means truly is we're taking our thumbs with a gloved hand and we are just pinching the sides of that dough 
until it sort of creates a cave, a little pool, if you will. And so what we want to do first is we're going to dip the donut, just the edges here, into this glaze. So I'm just going to stir this again, bring it back to life. And we're going to dip. We're going to let that drizzle for a moment, sort of take away everything on the edges there. Creates a nice sort of just border. We don't want to overwhelm it with maple. We just want it to have a little complement of maple because of those lemon ricotta pancakes. So I'm going to do the same thing here just so you can see again. And now what we're going to do is we are going to fill that space, that pool, with the filling. So this is our lemon ricotta filling, the ricotta from Lartusi. And we're just going to make a nice little pool, a nice even layer here. Do this again for you. Fantastic. So now our pancakes are definitely at an ideal temperature here. So I'm going to go in and just cut some circles for you. So, and this is how we get them nice and uniform for this pancake. Ricotta donut. We have this lovely sort of fluffy texture on the inside. I don't know if you can see it, but there are pieces of lemon zest within this that are just really yummy. So I'm just gonna cut some more circles here. So what we're gonna do with our circles here is we are going to place them on top of our lovely donut. So we're just going to take one here and one just like that. It's so cute, I love it. And then we're gonna do the same thing here And one there. Great. So we're almost finished with this lovely little donut of ours. Scraps from the pancakes, great to eat. What a lovely snack. I'm gonna place them right over here. So we've got our topper, which is also, as you guessed it, lemon and ricotta. And I've got a star tip going on here so that it has a nice design to it. I'm just going to get that started there. And we're just going to give it a lovely dollop on top and we're going to give it another little dollop on top right over here very much reminiscent of classic diner fair food when you're going to get the pancakes i think it's really special when they add a little dollop of butter or cream on top it just gives such a nice feel to it so what we're going to do next is we're just going to add some lemon zest on top in this recipe, you really can't have too much lemon. So here we go with that. And here as well. Fantastic. And so our last piece is our powdered sugar on top. We're going to place a little bit of powdered sugar on top, and it's going to make just a really nice, cohesive sort of look to it. So I've got some powdered sugar here, and we're just going to sprinkle some of that on top. Lovely. So there you have it. This is our finished product for our lemon ricotta pancake collaboration with Artusi. These look absolutely precious, exactly what I had in mind. I think Janae is going to love these as well. Um, so the next step is we release them on March 10th through the 12th uh, as our weekend special. So make sure you pre-order or come buy one uh, as a walk-in and uh, let's give it a taste. Mmm. Ricotta up the nose. That's the best way to have it. So good. Yum. Oh my gosh, amazing. Make sure you pre-order. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these are gonna sell out. <laughs>